I don't know. <laughs> Give it up for O'Shea, everyone. That's crazy. Usually people fuck up the first day. That's nice that you got that one. Bogus, that was the last one. Yeah, it's O'Shea Ben Gay. Go ahead, okay. <laughs> Just change my email, yeah. That's right, I do have a stupid name. Uh, <laughs> my name's O'Shea. Uh, not a lot of people with the first name O'Shea. There's only a few that I know of. There's me, I'm the first one. Uh, the second one is gangster rapper Ice Cube. His name's O'Shea Jackson. All right, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Last person I would have thought that knew that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was named after him, because my dad's an idiot. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, the third O'Shea is uh, O'Shea Jackson Jr., son of Ice Cube, and those are all the O'Shea's. Those are the only ones. His dad also named him after his favorite rapper, so that's pretty fun. <laughs> That's not that's my that's not my whole name. It's just the first name. My full name is even weirder. It's uh, O'Shea Shaquille Jackson Bogus. Yeah, that's crazy. It's, go ahead, let it sink in. It's almost like my parents wrote down a bunch of names on scraps of paper and put them in a hat and picked a few. But they're the names of every famous black man in 1992. Like, my name could have been Arsenio Jordan Mister T Bogus. <laughs> um, what else should I talk about? I um, I had a hard time dating in COVID. Anyone else? You guys experienced that? You guys all married already? Okay, yeah. Sweet. First table. You guys are really hitting on all cylinders for me. <laughs> nice. I'm just doing it for you guys. These guys are on for the ride. <laughs> COVID was hard. It was really hard for me dating because uh, right before COVID, I had a breakup with my ex. Like right before like three years before, and it <laughs> still really affected me. <laughs> and I had to do it, like I had to end the relationship, it kind of ended messy, because I cut her poking a hole in one of my condoms. And that was, that was like really bad, it really betrayed me, and it really hurt, because I was already wearing it. <laughs> I was looking down at her like, what do you think you're getting away with? <laughs> I'm gonna remember when there's a baby later. <laughs> The time you turn me into a blood sausage, I'm gonna remember that. But like you, you, you try to, you kind of try to make the hurt kind of lasten by like, oh, that was all bullshit and it was bad. But you gotta look at the good stuff. Like you gotta see what was good about the relationship, and you're like, that's what I want. And uh, I liked in that relationship, she would compliment me. That's something that I liked. Uh, she would compliment me in the bedroom, and she'd be like, you're so strong. You hold me down during sex. You're so strong, and, but I wasn't used to it, so I was like kind of downplayed. I'm not. I'm not that strong. Heavy. That's what you're noticing. <laughs> it's your the force of gravity is enacting upon you. <laughs> that's, I'm not holding you down. I'm holding me up. That's all that's happening. <laughs> but she was still trying to be nice and like trying to find some. No, no, no. But like, when you're when you're like aggressive and assertive in bed, I really like it. Like when you choke me with your forearm, I think it's so sexy. And I was like, I'm gonna be honest with you, that was an accident. I, you saw how sweaty I was. I know you did. Because one like a bead of sweat dropped off my nose and hit your lip. You lost focus. I saw it happen. I was just honestly, I was trying to like just post up on you, like get an arm under me and get my legs right like an NBA center, just really box out. <laughs> and then my arm slipped and you made that noise and it kind of scared me. <laughs> and you're like, huh? and then, it... and I was like, I don't, I don't know what to tell the police. But then you liked it, so <laughs> I kept doing it. I... I'm not like making stuff up. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> just going with the flow. That's, <laughs> yeah, so that ended and uh, I'm just jerking off. That's all I'm doing. Just watching porn, jerking off. I want to be able to be like, I'm dating again. That's not true. This is fucking hard. How am I going to present this? I just got done telling you guys I fuck low. I fuck like a tipped over vending machine. Like what? I what is my end? What's my pickup line? Like, hey baby, uh, you want to get your pelvis crushed, but not in a fun way? What? 
Sorry, I'm just watching porn. I, uh, I, I watch uh, Pornhub. I don't know what, what you guys use, but I'm a company man, so Pornhub. That's what I use. I'm real mainstream. Uh, there's usually two ads next to Pornhub, uh, one on top of the other. And uh, this one time I got on there and I saw these two ads, and the top ad said, Local girls want small dick. That's the first one. Right underneath that, it said, take this pill and your dick will grow three inches. I was like, well, now I know what the algorithm thinks of me. That's fun. And then I, I saw those and I was like, what do we do? Which do we choose? Two roads have diverged in a wood. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, this guy gets Robert Frost references, that's cool. I didn't, I didn't take you guys for a real literary crowd. <laughs> Listen, I'm a very smart, esoteric comedian. I write things about the classics, Steinbeck-esque. Here's another very smart joke for you guys. I believe it was William S. Burroughs who said, in A Farewell to Arms or Monster Blood by R.L. Stein, I'm not sure which, but I believe I believe it was him who said, y'all ever try to clean up cum with tears? Damn near impossible. Gets in your pubes, forget about it. I love literature, that's my point. <laughs> so yeah, I, uh, oh by the way, I don't have a small penis by the way. I don't know if anyone was all thinking that simultaneously. <laughs> well, it sounds like you don't believe me. Let's play a little guessing game. Everyone think of a number between one and five and three-eighths inches. You get a front table? No? Trick question. Uh, any of those numbers depending on temperature. Okay. I once told that joke, uh, and I was like trying to make a girl laugh, and uh, she's like, oh my God, that's the funniest small dick joke I've ever heard. And I was like, I don't know about small dick joke. It was a regular size joke. There was a set of punchline and tag. It's bigger than the national average. Maybe my joke's not short. Maybe your ears are too big. Did you ever think about that? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I watch uh, I watch transgender pornography, and uh, yeah, it's a little funny. It's <laughs> I, listen, no one really wants to think about me in the throes of passion, watching anything. But that one's a little weird. <laughs> I watch transgender porn. I think it's the best porn. I hope I can convince you all by the end of the night. <laughs> it's the best one. Just for the sheer fact that it's, uh, it's four tits and two dicks. That's a deal, you know? I don't bargain when I see one. <laughs> but like, uh, some friends of mine, they're like, dude, that's gay. You're just watching chicks with penises. It's gay. I'm like, I don't think it's gay. Because your sexuality is so much more about intimacy. It's about like who you want to be close to and hold and kiss. And I don't want to kiss guys, I want to kiss girls. And suck their dicks. I don't... Where's the, what's the rub here? What do we... It's all the hubbub with this. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, listen, I don't, if you're a pretty girl, that's what I like. I don't care. So the top half is a pretty girl. I don't give a shit what's in your jeans, in your pants. So squish or smush. Press it against a glass table and having fun. You know what I mean? I'm under the table. All right. <laughs> I think I think transgender porn is the best because when two trans women 69 it's like an optical illusion a little bit it's, it's like one of those uh, puzzles where you unfocus your eyes and you see a sailboat or whatever <laughs> they look like a playing card you know it's the jack off of spades that's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I uh, I don't want to rub uh, like speaking of gender and all that stuff. Uh, I don't want to rub anyone the wrong way, but doesn't gender fluid sound like something you refill your sex robot with? <laughs> you know, you like you bring your sex robot into a mechanic, cleaning his hands with a dirty rag, <laughs> spits his dip into an oil pan. You know. Uh, yeah, top off each end of fluid. You gotta get that, uh... You gotta get that change every, uh, 15,000 strokes. Yeah, you gotta do that. Uh, otherwise, you, you're gonna have an androgynous android. 
You do not want to dry start a fuck doll. Trust me, it's a mess. Uh, and it may, like, make sure you let me know. They don't make pots for this model no more. I gotta order out, it's gonna take a few weeks. I can loan you a beater. <laughs> nice, all right. <laughs> Uh, people don't usually understand the accent. I'm glad you guys do. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I went out of town, and uh, when you go out of town, your like, algorithm kind of changes. You get different ads. And uh, I saw this ad for an organization. It was called uh, Homeless Not Toothless. <laughs> Some of you are ahead of me. <laughs> it's called Homeless Not Toothless. It's, they take homeless people, and they uh, bring them to a dentist, and they give them like really expensive, life-altering dental procedures, and then that's it. <laughs> and then they're like, go back out the revolving door. Godspeed. <laughs> Not even like co-signing at least, that's all. They're just like, fix your teethers. Why is there a charity collecting the teeth of the homeless people? That's a little weird. Is it because they're untraceable? Not even their family will use dental records? Is that, are they NFT? Is that what they? <laughs> I saw that. Uh, I saw also, I was walking by, uh, oh gosh. <laughs> they're, they're just meeting. Oh, okay. They're fighting over dad, it's all. Yeah. I just, I, oh, there's a tiny, is that a puppy? Eight weeks, yeah. Oh, fine. The bigger one will kill the small one, then we can go on. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to like look out and like kind of jump up on something. <laughs> It's okay. It's just Animal Kingdom. That's all that's happening. <laughs> no, they love each other. All right. Oh, maybe they don't. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, uh, I walked by. Uh, I walked by uh, Burger King, and uh, I saw there was like that. You know the sign with put the letters on and all that stuff. They like spell stuff out. Uh, it's kind of fucked up in like an unprecedented time. We have so many unhoused people, and even the Burger King has a home. You know, you're like, or the Whopper has a home, is what I think. Isn't that fucked up? Especially considering how much homeless people eat fast food. You know, where they, they walk in and they pay in quarters, and they're like, here, here's what inside tastes like. Okay, I fucked up that joke. Uh, I can't compete with dogs. I can't. They're, they're throwing me off because they're so goddamn cute. Logistics. Oh, this is uh, this is from Goodwill. <laughs> okay, I'll admit I'm homeless, guys. <laughs> I have like six coats on. All right. But those teeth though. Them teeth though. Homeless, not toothless. Shit works. Uh. Oh, I saw another ad for something called uh, a Theragun. And it's like, it's supposedly good for like athletes and trainers and like female orgasms or whatever. And uh, the name confused me. It was like Theragun, it's like short, it's like a Portman 2, it's like therapy gun. Isn't that just a gun? You know? Isn't that just a regular gun that you keep in the top drawer of your cabinet, your dresser, and sometimes you open it up and you look at it? The street light glints off of the finish, and you pick it up, and it's heavier than you thought it'd be. You just hold it for a bit, just holding it, looking at it, still glinting off the light. Almost like it's beckoning you, <laughs> tantalizing even. You put it in your mouth, you're not going to do anything. With it. You just want to kind of see how that feels. Your teeth mar the barrel. Starts quietly sobbing. Grows into muffled screams. You fall asleep in the bathtub and you wake up and you say, and maybe I do want to keep trying. I don't know how you guys use your guns. How you use mine. <laughs> At home defense as well. That's <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't tell if you don't. All right. Uh, I like guns. Like I grew up with guns in the house. Uh, like we always had a gun. 
somewhere. I didn't really know where. Like, there'd be a hiding spot. And, like, they'd kind of be like, hey, don't go to my room. There's a hiding spot. Don't fucking go there. There's a gun. Don't go to the gun. <laughs> and I thought it was because, like, they didn't want me to, like, use it and, like, hurt me or my brother or fucking blow a hole in the living room TV or whatever. Uh, then I, I, like, got older and I realized it's because their hiding spot was also where the dildos were. <laughs> You know, they were they were pretty not creative with the hiding spots. Because that hiding spot had the guns and my mom's dildos and my stepdad's dildos. That's where the dildos were. That's really what the hiding spot was. It was just a big fucking crate full of dildos and a gun. <laughs> and it was fucked up because like sometimes I would like try to uh, I'd try to like find where my my Christmas presents were hidden. And I would go where the dildos were, and they wouldn't be there. Thank God, you know? Because imagine, imagine if I'm trying to find my Christmas presents, I'm trying to peek into them, and then I'm like, well, I don't know what I got, but I know what my mom's gonna get. I know. <laughs> oh, I, I, I don't know what Santa got me, but I know my stepdad's into pegging. That's what I know now. I thought I would lose my innocence by <laughs> realizing Santa wasn't real. That's <laughs> by realizing how gross people are. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I, I've always kind of been around guns. I like guns. Uh, I don't like the, like, gun culture on the internet. It's really annoying. Most of the people are fucking annoying and shit. Like, fucking no, no restrictions on guns. No gun controls. I, some gun control. A little bit. I believe in some gun control, you know? Like, I believe there are certain groups of people that if they were to continue to have access to guns, they'd use them to hurt uh, minorities and, like, people that are on the edges of society, the marginalized people. The police. I don't think the police should have guns. <laughs> I think everyone but the police should have guns in case the police find some guns. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up poor without property. I don't, I'm not crazy about. We are in Wheat Ridge. I don't know how you guys feel about the cops, but they hurt me. <laughs> They're not cool to me. <laughs> like, the people try to bring me on their side of the gun argument, on the left or the right, where like uh, people like on the left they'll be like, well, "What about what about gangs? What about white supremacist gangs that use the guns to hurt?" Minorities and like uh, the police. I already <laughs> so the police. I fixed the that part. And then the people on the right will be like, "Well, what about people that are mentally ill and that would use those guns to hurt others, their families, even people with drug problems and alcoholics that would hurt their families?" It's like the police. I already <laughs> I fixed all the problems. You're not listening. <laughs> Um, what else do I want to talk about? I love that there's no time limit. So I can talk until I uh, turn everyone against me. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> True. It's a record time. I did this in like five minutes. <laughs> oh, I th here's a fun one. Uh, they say that... Uh, Alcoholism is a progressive disease. I hear that a lot. Alcoholism, alcoholism is a progressive disease. I hear that from my family and my doctor. I hear that. Uh, but you know what? I think, and you know what I think? I think it's, uh, it's a woman's right to choose. It's what I th Progressive disease. <laughs> I live from the police, you know what? Universal basic income is simple. Why don't you believe in science? Believe in science with me. <laughs> That's new. All right. Uh, I swear I gotta add something else. Oh. You know how when you're a kid and uh, you hear your parents yelling at you, and you know it's like serious if they say your whole name. 
you know. Like, I knew it was serious when my parents would yell at me and they say my whole name because they went through the trouble of saying my whole name. It's like, oh, Shay Shaquille Jackson. Oh, Jesus. Need breath for that one. I, like, there's still kind of that thing when you're an adult now. And it's if the news says your whole name. You know, you're in a lot of trouble. It's like the news is your mom. Because it wasn't Timmy McVeigh. It was Timothy James McVeigh. Did you leave a license plate at the scene of the blast? You gotta pick up that. I know I didn't leave it there. You're in big trouble, young man. Go to your room. No, not upstairs. Florence ADX Supermax. You go to your room. And you think about what you've done. <laughs> Leonard Harvey Oswald, why are all these books on the floor? <laughs> you better clean up your mess. It's not going to magically clean itself up. Oh, no one likes doing on it? All right. <laughs> Jonathan Wilkes Booth, we only go to the theater once a year. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> Uh, Jonathan Wayne Gacy I've been telling you to clean out that crawl space for months I better not have to go down there <laughs> Let me see, are there any other serial killers? <laughs> three name ones though Charles Danson Manson I don't know his middle name <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd be fine with it. <laughs> Coles has three names. <laughs> uh, David Allen Berkowitz. I think I'm right. I don't know. Was it Allen? All right. I should probably do another joke. <laughs> um, oh, it was uh, Steve Harvey Oswald. How about, uh, wait, Steve Harvey, no, nah, I already fucked it up. Lee Harvey Oswald, how about Steve Harvey Oswald? That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Did Steve Harvey Oswald shoot MLK? Is that? <laughs> Lord, the Warren Commission. You guys watch Family Feud? <laughs> the Warren Commission. A magic bullet. You tell no, okay. Let me see. What's up? <laughs> oh. Magic bullet. <laughs> oh. Back into the left. Oh, yeah. Let me wait. Can I do more? Are you lighting me? Thank fucking God. <laughs> How long did I do? This was a stretch for me. <laughs> I got jealous. You did so great. Uh, thank you. I'll just get off on that. Thank you guys very much. <laughs> <laughs>